Hey guys, I'm going to be talking about the Raspberry Pi. If you don't know what the Raspberry Pi is, check out my unboxing and introduction video here. So let's go over the ports on the Pi. The bottom right, we have the Ethernet jack. 10 millibytes and 100 millibytes, no gigabit internet. Two USB 2.0 ports are located on the right side of the board. We have the status LEDs on the top right side of the board. This will tell you the power, if it's on or not. We also have the audio 3.5 millimeter jack, regular headphone quality. Here we have the analog RCA video for that older TV support. On the top left we have the general purpose input output ports. On the left side we have the SD card slot which stores the operating system. The bottom left we have the micro USB for power regular phone charger will do and on the bottom lastly we have the HDMI for the up to 1080p resolution video output now let's talk about the ports that don't get any love we have the CSI connector camera on the bottom right in between the Ethernet and HDMI so you can connect a camera to it And on the left side, we have the DSi connector display. This will allow you to connect the different displays to the Raspberry Pi. And both of these ports don't get much talk about. So now let's go to the specs on the hardware. We have the double stacked RAM on top of the processor, 512 megabytes of RAM, 700 megahertz processor, or 0.7 gigahertz. And this is all on a Broadcom arm 11 chip thanks for watching be sure to subscribe if you want more raspberry pi videos